Let's see how insertion sort works. We have an unsorted array here. First, we consider the first element to be sorted. Then, we take each subsequent element from the unsorted part and insert it at its correct position in the sorted part. So here, 34 should be placed before 64. So we will make the space by shifting other elements and insert it there. Next, we have to insert 25. So we follow the same steps. The algorithm finds its correct position, shifts the required elements and inserts it. The process repeats until the entire array is sorted. Now let's see the code for this. First, define the function that takes the array as input. Then, store the length of the array in a variable. After that, run a loop from index 1 to the last index. Inside the loop, store the element at the current index in a variable. Then, create another variable to store the index just before the current index, which is i minus 1. After that, we need to do all the shifting. To do this, use a while loop that runs as long as j is not negative and the element at index j is greater than the key element. Inside the while loop, shift the element at index j to the right by assigning the element at index j plus 1 to be the element at the index j. Then decrement j by 1 and after all the shifting is done, insert the key element at its correct position. Now, in the worst and average case, the algorithm will iterate over each element once. And in each iteration, it will compare on an average half of the elements, giving a total time complexity of n square. The space complexity will be constant as we did not use any extra memory in this algorithm, only the space needed to store the array. Now, in the best case, when the array is already sorted, the time complexity will be linear as the algorithm iterates over each element and the inner loop only compares the left element one time.